We now return to the Phoenix Festival on Much Music. Vince, give us an overview of the Phoenix Festival and the sort of big picture. Well, it's a festival of, uh, it's mainly a music festival, but it has, it has lots of other uh, events going on. It's, uh, you know, we've got uh, areas, uh, circus areas, uh, fun fairs, healing areas, uh, lots of uh, activity up there. What's the scope in terms of how many bands and how many stages? We've got about 11 stages and we've got 270 bands. That doesn't include uh, comedy and uh, other acts like circus acts and what have you. Now, th this is billed as England's first four-day music festival. That's is that right? Is that right? Yes, it is. Actually, it's the, it's the first, uh, first four days of, uh, of music, yes. How did this one distinguish itself from the other festivals? Well, from Reading, it's a much broader uh, much broader music policy you know you like yes you know we've had uh, david bowie here reading is very definable uh, you know it's what's happening in that that year uh, this is uh, much wider much wider music based it's a uh, good jazz but dance uh, it's, i suppose the nearest could probably nearer to glastonbury than ready we're getting um, a sense that festivals around the world are taking off and getting more and more popular. Do you have any theories as for why that is? And I suppose I think it goes in cycles. I mean, festivals are not a are not a new thing, really. Festivals have been around for uh, hundreds of years, probably thousands of years. Um, I've got no idea. I just think it's uh, people love getting together. People love, love uh, you know, being close, camping close. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, Nice atmosphere here.